what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, long time now see. Um, I decided to sort of take a little break from making videos because the whole world ending because of COVID and then the Black Lives Matter movement came and it sort of felt a little bit silly to make YouTube videos. Um, but I'm back now. So I'm gonna try to do a vlog style sort of video and see kind of how that goes so that instead of having to set aside time for a specific video subject, I can instead film just what I'm already doing on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully that will still be um, educational for you guys and maybe entertaining, I hope. So things to do, not necessarily this week things to do, but just things in general upcoming projects that I need to do for this week. Well, I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow, so I need to pack for that. I'm painting a backdrop this week for a headshot shoot and sending a couple emails regarding that. I need to scan some film in. I recently acquired a film scanner, so I'm gonna figure out how to work that thing. And then I also need to get caught up on some Portland protest prints that I would like to print out. I'm doing prints in exchange for your donation receipts. So I'll put more info about that in the description box below, but basically in exchange for your donation receipt, I send you a print from the Portland protests. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy this little vlog. <laughs>
So I wanted to give just a super quick update on the sort of organizational and workflow scheme of the darkroom since I had a couple questions about a follow-up on how the setup is working out for me and things like that. So it's all pretty much the same more or less. Um, I've moved the enlarger station to this wall and it pretty much permanently stays here. We could technically wheel this in and out of the bathroom whenever we wanted to. But, I mean, and right now it's a tiny bit of a mess in here, but I have it set up so that all the darkroom stuff is over on this side, and then our bathroom stuff is on this side, on the left side. So, it's a little bit of a mess right now, sort of chaotic, but this is probably the best solution. Because when we need to use the bathroom regularly, the in larger station is pushed back so you can't access these anyways so it makes more sense for the darkroom stuff to be back there so that when I push this out to use I can then access the remainder of the darkroom stuff and right now I'm printing 11 by 14 so that's why I have these larger ones and they're sort of spread throughout this is not the most ideal because then I drip stop bath everywhere while I get it on the way to the fixer but when I'm just printing 8 by 10 or smaller then I have my developer right here, and then stop path here, and then fixer back here. And I can do the entire thing just straight straight from the sink. Please ignore this disaster zone. It's absolutely vile right there. Um, and yeah, and then we just hang the prints out to dry. This is a test print. As you can tell, it's not very good. So I'm printing this piece out for an exhibition down in California. Good morning. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, in case you didn't notice, it sort of got a little bit sidetracked and fell off the rails a little bit towards the end. Um, I ended up not doing a few of the things on my to-do list. Um, regarding the backdrop, I started painting it but quickly realized that I didn't really like the hand-painted sort of look, so I just bit the bullet and bought an actual backdrop. And I also didn't get caught up on my Portland protest prints. I got accepted into a group show last week, so I sort of had to sprint a little bit to um, get everything printed correctly, and then I had a huge ordeal trying to get it shipped out because USPS is in shambles right now, and... <sighs> I've talked to many mail service providers <laughs> this past week, um, but it's finally shipped out now. I will hopefully give you guys the details of it all in the next vlog, but I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any comments, any critiques. This is my very first vlog sort of thing that I think is somewhat successful enough to even post online. so. I'm very much a newbie. Any advice, words of wisdom you have, please share. I am here to learn. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs>